The expansion to the Fleet Services building is now complete with technicians utilizing an additional 12 vehicle and equipment service bays. We have quite the workload. Um, the city has over 1,300 assets that we maintain. Uh, we track and maintain them, do repairs. While staff recognized the need for more technicians in space, it was the more than $100 million in city fleet vehicles that drove the over $5 million expansion project. Uh, it took about a year of construction to complete. And I, I think it was a good project. It was important to get state-of-the-art facilities to help this department uh, attract your top talent. With this new facility doubling the amount of space they used to have, they can now repair and maintain even more city vehicles to get them back out on the streets. We have uh, 14 technicians that work out of this building, and before they were stacked on top of each other. Now they're able to spread out and work on vehicles. As vehicles are waiting on parts, they can pull another vehicle in behind it and work on that vehicle. And so it really just improves our pr overall production. And they added a new and improved wash station, awnings to all heavy bays, and an overhead crane for repairs to larger vehicles that further improves their efficiency. The assets that we maintain here uh, directly impact the services that we provide to our residents. They, they are a key aspect to keeping um, your, the utilities running, uh, DME, solid waste. Um, they all rely on those assets to, to get their job done. So it's imperative that we keep them up and running uh, for, for those departments. In Denton, I'm Kimberly Barroteran.